So welcome to this quick video on the new features of the Windows 8.1 Update 1 that was released April 2014. Now the first thing you'll see when you log on is now the Windows Store has an icon on the quick launch bar, which is something we previously couldn't do. Modern applications were not available to be linked to the taskbar. But I can now click that and it's actually going to launch into the modern application, which then shows us the next change. Notice as I bring my cursor up, so this is much more mouse friendly. I now see the more traditional minimize and close control items that I can do for normal desktop applications. So I can now easily close this or just minimize it back down. If I go to my start screen, now what I can actually do for these modern applications is if I right click with my mouse, I now get the context menu Whereas it used to have the icons at the bottom of the screen, which is still what I get with touch. So if I'm using a touch interface, I will still get the icons at the bottom of the screen. But using a mouse, I now get the more familiar context menu. Notice I can pin it to the taskbar. So now if I go back to my desktop, I'm now going to see that additional icon. I can launch it. And if I go back to my desktop and I hover over this, now actually for my modern applications, they can have like this live thumbnail. They can have controls actually on the thumbnail through that taskbar. Additionally, on my main start screen, I see some new icons. I now have easy access to the power. So I could disconnect, this is a remote desktop session, or I could shut down, I could reboot, etc. I have easy availability now to search. So I can just bring up a search of everything on this machine. I just installed a new application. I notice now what I get as well is it actually shows me for the all apps icon, it shows me, hey, there's a new app installed. So I can now go and click on there and it shows me what I just installed today. So it gives me a better visibility into what's new on the machine. There's also a new Internet Explorer Enterprise mode. So this is really designed for, I need better compatibility with sites designed for Internet Explorer 8. There's a new tool that allows you to create site lists for applications that need to run, or more accurately, websites that need to run in this new enterprise mode. All the current updates are rolled into this update as well. And if you're looking at Windows Server 2012 R2, the Windows Server 2012 R2 update one contains all the current updates and sort of fixes for Windows 2012 R2. And the only real change in functionality is for Active Directory Federation services, which now includes the ability for administrators to enable signing in with an alternate login ID that was part of the Active Directory user account. This really is designed for better compatibility with Azure Active Directory, so I don't have to change my on-prem user principal names. So really not, not a huge amount of changes in this release, but it really has been designed to give better compatibility with the mouse and keyboard and really bridging that gap between sort of the modern applications, the start screen, and giving better compatibility for users who, who don't use touch so much. And again, this has not removed any of the touch features. If I use a touch interface, I still get the same capabilities I had before. This is really just enhancing the capabilities for mouse and keyboard. Thanks for your time. As always, hope this was useful.